let's try to solve certain cubic equations uh, with the given condition so first question let's try to solve a cubic equation given to us as x cubed minus 5x square minus 16 plus 80 equals to 0. Now in the question what we are given, we are given that two of its roots are 0. So we have a given information, we have a given information, let me just write down, given to us. Now let us first suppose alpha, beta, gamma are the roots of the given equation and what is given to us uh, let's say alpha plus beta equals to zero so sum of the two roots is zero okay so that means that the condition for cubic equation is that alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to equals to minus b by a right so equals to minus b by a a a is 1 in our case so this becomes minus of minus 5 which is 5 okay so alpha beta gamma the sum is equal to 5 and we know that alpha plus beta is 0 so gamma equals to 5 so gamma equals to 5 Apart from that, what do we know? We know that alpha into beta into gamma, that equals to minus b by a. So that equals to minus 80. Okay, that's what is d in our equation. Just see, equation, this is my b, this is c, this is, oh sorry, there is an x here. And this is D. Okay, so now I know what gamma is. So alpha beta into gamma equals to minus 80. And what also I know is that alpha plus beta equals to 0, which implies that beta can be taken as minus alpha. Okay, so alpha into minus alpha into 5 equals to minus 80. So that makes it alpha square equals to minus minus gets cancelled out and this becomes 16. So alpha equals to plus minus 4. Alpha equals to plus minus 4. So what are our roots? Our roots are plus 4, minus 4 and 5. Okay, so alpha, say beta and gamma. So these are our roots. So that's how you can find out your roots with a given condition. Now a different kind of question, let's just take it out. In this question, we are given an equation. As you can see here, this is our equation. 2x cubed minus x squared. Uh, minus 22x minus 24 equals to 0 and we know that the roots are two of the roots are in the ratio in a certain ratio 3 is to 4 okay so that means I can take my roots as let the roots be 3 alpha 4 alpha and beta okay because these first two roots we are taking in the ratio 3 by 4, okay. So, let us let these be the roots of our equation, okay. So, if these are the roots of our equation, then let us just look at the sum of the roots. Sum of the roots is minus b by a, so that becomes... Uh, sorry, it is b by uh, minus b by a, so that becomes 1 by 2. That becomes 1 by 2, which will actually imply that beta equals to half minus 7 alpha, right? Okay, now the second condition, 
So that's first. The second condition says that the product, the sum of the dual products, okay, so 3 alpha into 4 alpha, sorry, 3 alpha into 4 alpha plus 3 alpha into beta plus 4 alpha into beta equals to, equals to minus 11, okay, equals to C by A, C by A, which is minus 22 by 2, which is minus 11. So that's our number 2, okay. Now, so which actually implies that 12 alpha square equals 2 minus 11 minus 7 alpha beta. Okay. Now from these two, 1 and 2, what can we say? What can we say? We can say that 22 alpha square plus 7 alpha 1 by 2 minus 7 alpha okay in place of beta equals to minus 11 okay so that's what we can say we can say that we can say that 22 alpha square plus 7 alpha into half minus 7 alpha equals to this okay or 22 it, it's 12 sorry it's 12 it's 12 12 alpha square and what we have done we've just substituted for beta from here okay so alpha is essentially the root of this equation, quadratic equation, which turns out to be basically 74 alpha square minus 7 alpha minus 22 equals to 0. So alpha will equal to 7 plus minus 49 plus 6 by 1 2 upon 148. 148 a equals to 7 plus minus 81 81 upon 148 so that equals to minus half or 22 by 37 okay so what are the roots the roots are now now the point is that uh, the point is alpha, if we take alpha equals to 22 by 37, if we take alpha equals to 22 by 37, it does not satisfy the given equation. It will not satisfy the given equation. Does not satisfy the equation. Okay. So therefore we will take minus half as our root. And hence your roots will be minus 3, 3 alpha. So minus 3 by 2 minus 2 and 4. Okay, so these will be our roots.